your own game Stick it to Mr. No Name Pity and girl I think I'm going through something right now <laughs> Okay, I'm a mess right now I am all over the place this morning And I don't know what to do about it So I'm vlogging <laughs> Just got to the salon. Emily was just sort of briefly explaining to me the process, the numbing. My brows are mapped. I probably should have filmed a little bit of the process because it was very interesting. She had to measure and do a lot of shit and I did not realize how fucked up my brows were. But we're getting there. We are numbing. I'm thankful because I'm kind of scared. Got some facts. I feel like I don't have eyebrows because this is so white, but she mapped the freckles also and she is going to poke my face first before she does my brows, so. How are you feeling? I don't really feel it. I mean, I feel it, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I feel like my nose will be a little bit more painful, but I don't know. Yeah, the nose area is definitely more sensitive. I feel like my eyes are going to look a little watery. But Super normal. It doesn't hurt. So, freckles are on my face's kind of red right now because a needle just went in it. I had no clue what type of tool was used for freckles, but it's like, it just looks like a stick and poke tattoo. Now she is about to start on my brow. I literally feel nothing. Yay. Just hear it. <laughs> I know some clients are like super like grossed out at the sound. Whoa. We're getting there. Wow. I can't even see my eyes literally filled with tears and that was like five minutes so I know you still have more to do but that looks pretty damn good. Yay! She just rubbed the, pig the pigment in. I didn't get that on video but I'll try to get the next brow. She said I'm bleeding more than average because I didn't listen. But also she's putting more pigment, pigment in but she sent me like instructions on what to do before my appointment and you're not supposed to drink alcohol 24 hours beforehand because it can cause you to bleed. And I thought it said 12 hours, so I had some wine last night. That is a brown. Just one. Never had one before. She just applied the second numbing thing to this brow. I think she wiped it off this one already. And I think she's gonna do some final touches and then we'll be done. Okay, finally an angle where I don't look like I'm dying. Um, we just, well I didn't do anything, but Emily just finished and I could not be happier. They look so amazing. My camera's not focusing, I don't know why, but if you look closely, it, it looks like hair, so that's great. And my freckles look great and I just am so stoked. She said that the freckles and the brows will lighten up a little bit and then I have to come back in about six to 10 weeks for a brow touch up. But she also said that once you get freckles, you some people might need to touch them up, but some people don't. So I'm hoping that I don't need to, but we'll see. I have eyebrows. No name. Anger, guess I don't hope. I'm obsessed with this song. Literally, this is the only song I listen to my entire drive here. And it's the only song I'm gonna listen to on my entire drive back. Before I start driving, I just want to end this vlog. I, yeah, here's the brows. 
fresh out the kitchen. I'm so thankful that I found Emily. Thank you to whoever recommended her to me. I will leave her Instagram on the screen somewhere and down in my description if you guys want to check her out. My brows feel really stiff right now because the second numbing cream that she used specifically helps to stop bleeding and help the redness go away and it also tightens your skin. So I feel like I can't move my eyebrows, but it's fine. Hi guys, today's the next day. Um, I decided to take a different route with this video. My plan was to just end the video yesterday and then update you guys when I go back for a touch up. I figured it might be cool to show you guys like the day after, how I look, how my brows look, the intensity of them, just so that way we could document like how much they lighten up as they're healing. I think they'll be healed in about two weeks. I think I told you guys that yesterday. So my plan is to come back on in about two weeks to show you guys them healed. I feel like since the brows are really dark right now, I just felt weird with no mascara on. So I put some brown mascara on. And I did put a little bit of concealer on my bags because they were really dark. But yeah, oh, also, I wanna show you guys my hoodies. I told you yesterday that I made merch. Okay, don't mind my room, it's really messy right now. Also, all of those boxes over there where, I don't even know how to point. All those boxes are hoodies. I told you guys I would insert some photos, which I most likely did in the beginning of the video, but I'll insert some more photos just because I don't wanna take it off to show you guys because it's so soft. On the front, it says this word. You can't read it because I'm in the mirror, so it's backwards, but I'll leave this on the screen. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this word means the sound that wind makes rustling through leaves and trees and things, and I thought that that would be really cute to put on the front. You can't really see too well, but on the back, I have my little shroomy painting on here. I actually layered the image a few times, so that way it gives it like a trippy vibe. I really wanted to get the best quality um, of hoodies that I could find and something I'm really stoked about is that I feel like I achieved that these are super Super soft. I'm super picky about hoodies I don't own a hoodie other than this one because I hate when hoodies scrunch up at the bottom and Yeah, I just I don't like that at least on me and I love that these don't do that. They're like free flowing like they're loose at the bottom and i noticed that whenever i buy hoodies that are a little bit bigger they can kind of like bunch up and just feel really bulky and then the, the material of these are really thick and cozy but they're not too thick that it's like bunching up on your shoulders if you get a bigger size or something like i don't know if that makes sense but i'm stoked and i'm proud okay okay that's it for my little self promo so anyways i'm going to go now and i will you guys why is my camera not focusing yeah that's gonna be it for today i'll come back in like i said two weeks or so to show you guys how my brows and frecks are looking then hi guys today is february 7th it's been two weeks since i got my brows and freckles done and i told you guys i was gonna come back in about two weeks to show you guys how they healed so here they are um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I definitely can tell my brows are a lot lighter when my hair is dry um, They're about the same color as my natural hair color and my freckles are there It's actually a little bit better lighting. I don't know if you can tell this is About the color that they are. I have no makeup on right now, and I'm just like doing this so you guys can see like it literally looks like hair. I told you guys the day that I went to get this done that I had been wanting to do this for so long and I am so happy with how they've turned out. I'm going back in a few weeks for a touch up. Um, I don't really know what the purpose of a touch up is. I don't know if I actually need one. Like, I don't know. But I booked one because I realized that I do want her to add a little bit more length in the front hairs, if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys can see. I just want these to be a little bit longer, so I don't I don't really know if that makes sense. I'm gonna ask her about that when I go to my touch up and then whatever else she feels like needs to be touched up. I don't think there's really any patches, but if she wants to fill them in a little bit more, I don't really care. I also figured once I go back to do that touch up, I'm gonna vlog it to show you guys the process. I figured I would also include a little Q&A in that video. So if you guys have any questions about 
the process, the healing, price, pain, anything like that, anything to do with microblading or fake freckles, just leave them in the comments in this video. And like I said, in that touch up video, I'll be doing a little Q and A. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful and yeah. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you did, please thumbs it up. And yeah, I will catch you guys later. Bye.